Hello, Yu-Gi-Oh! fans! I am Jeff of the Game Capital and thegamecapital.com. Today, I'm going to be opening up an entire case of the brand new Gold Sarcophagus Yu-Gi-Oh! tins. Uh, so we'll be opening 12 tins, 36 mega packs, and the 12 promo packs, or however you want to break that up inside. Um, and also, hopefully later today, or at worst tomorrow, we'll also have a 10 case opening recap video. So opening 10 cases today, one case here on video for you all, and then we'll sort it all out and do a video for you showing what we all got from the 10 cases. So if you're looking for um, pull rates and stuff, uh, we can help you out with that. I know we're not the only ones that do such things, but I uh, want to give you guys that extra information as well. Um, I'll give some slight spoilers and say we opened two cases at the store before I came here to the warehouse to open one case. And from those two cases, one case had one Boral Sword and one case had four Boral Swords. So, not enough intel yet there to uh, tell if there's any sort of short print or not within that, but uh, there will be some variants, it seems. So I'm just gonna open up the top row here first, and then we'll open four tins worth, and then do the next row. I think it'll just flow better for me that way if uh, I do that as opposed to opening each tin completely individually. Uh, but we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. I had to open a case of tins before on a video, I don't think, here for Yu-Gi-Oh, so... I don't have a Pokemon. I think usually I like unpack them all off camera, but I want to make sure that everyone knows there's no shenanigans. Track here everything in frame the best I can, single cut, that sort of thing. I just so everyone knows it's legitimate. I uh, can't do the same kind of proof for the 10k recap will do, but if you don't believe it, you don't believe it. It's not a concern of mine. Uh, we're not trying to put out false information. Just want to get the information out there to you guys uh, to do with what you want. Um, I also say we'll have singles for these tins on our website, thegamecapital.com. So if you need any singles that you see in this video or in our 10 case recap, basically assume we'll have at least a couple of everything after 10 cases, I would hope. So, uh, let's start opening here then, shall we? And uh, see what we got. So they come here in one single bundle like that, one big booster pack, a mega pack for the mega packs. And then the five promos you get in each are in their own plastic. Then you get the three mega packs that were in the mega jumbo pack, or however you want to phrase it. And from the two cases we opened so far, it doesn't seem like there's any short prints. Um, one case had one Rageki, one case had six Ragekis, so there was definitely a lot of variance. But we got Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon, Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon, Slifer the Sky Dragon, Obelisk the Tormentor, and Nibiru, the Primal Bean. That is the best pro we can get right now. Uh, I'm not going to say any values in the video because they're going to be fluctuating a lot over the next couple of days. Uh, but yeah. So I'll I'll do all the promos here and then we'll do all the packs. Just trying to find the, the best flow here so it's not like overly choppy. Just so I'm kind of constantly doing something without a bunch of breaks in between constantly. Exodia, the Legendary Defender. Magician of Black Chaos Max. The Winged Dragon of Raw, Abelus the Tormentor, and Nibiru the Primal Bean again. Nice. But yeah, that one is worth a couple dollars right now more than the next best, which is several hours better than the worst of the three you can get. Whoops, I started opening a pack. I I'm out of my flow already. So uh, just pretend I didn't open that one. We'll, we'll circle back to it. We'll circle back to it. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, next promo pack. Can we go 4 for 4 in a beer to start here? That'd be insane. That'd be completely insane. Blue Eyes, Alternative, Ultimate Dragon, Palladium, Oracle Mana, The Winged Dragon of Raw, Obelisk of the Tormentor, Dark Ruler, No More. That's the second best you can get after uh, Nibiru, right? Oh, almost opened a pack again. My goodness, Jeff. Get on it here. All right. And last promo pack for round one here, I guess we'll call it. And then we'll open up 12 Mega Packs. We've got Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon, Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon, The Wind Dragon of Raw, Slay for the Sky Dragon, and Dark Ruler No More. Did we get any Monster Born or Ageki there in the first part? I don't think so. Just the gods so far. Interesting. Interesting. But overall, not too bad. All the, the, the primary value is in that last card of the promo pack. And so far, so good. Now, I'll page through the first couple packs here with the commons so you guys can see some of them. Uh, but we care about the shiny stuff first and foremost. Triple D, Flame High King Genghis. Called by the Grave. First pack. Very nice. Uh, that's the second most expensive card as of the time of this recording. Again, don't want to put the values on it because 
Things will change, but you get the idea. And Vampire Froline. Cybers, Clock, Dragon, and then a bunch of comments. Which, page two quickly for you at least. Let me see, how do I want to have these? So I have to reach all the way across the camera. Uno momento, por favor. Um, we'll go ultra secret, ultra rare, maybe? Sure, we'll try that, we'll try that. Actually, let me go like this, because, yeah. So I open, every three will be from the same tin then. So these next two will be from the same tin as that call by the grave was. Which, I don't think we pulled too many of those in the first two cases. We didn't get four in a case like we did Boral Sword anyway. So I think just like the first three to six packs here, I'll at least page through the commons like that so you guys can get a look. But uh, we'll speed it up. Afterburners. Sky Striker Ace Kagari. Danger Bigfoot Ultra Rare. Cybers Magician. And then some more commons. Yep. Obviously, lots of very awesome, very cool cards you can get in these Mega Tins. Lots of value in these things. Be interested to see how prices settle out once things kind of saturate a little bit. Um, but, yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting. Things will be all over the board for a little bit here. And then things will settle down and we'll see where things settle at. But, Incantation Bookstone. Sky Striker Ace Ray? Rai? Not sure. Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor. Staring Contest. And some more commons. Do, 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 do. All right, so that is the first tin. So we've completed one tin. I'm hoping I get this video done as fast as I want to, but let's kind of get faster right away here. Triple D, Flame High King Gingas. So our first foil duplicate and duplicate secret already as well. Nightmare Sybaris. Trickstar Bloom. So yeah, some stuff increases in rarity in this release. Some stuff decreases in rarity. So like some of the dangers that were secret rares are now ultras. Some that were ultras are now prismatic secrets. Um, some cards that were super rares are now ultras, etc., etc. So more duplicates. Danger Jackalope. So there's one ultra that became a prismatic secret. Very nice looking right there. And Trap Trick as well. Pair of very solid pulls there from a single mega pack, not just a single tin. But yeah, if you got those as like your only two solid cards of the entire tin, you're still doing pretty a okay right now. At least based on what values are currently at. Like I said, things will change, so I don't have too much weight into it right now, but it's interesting. It's interesting. Get a lot of duplicate super rares already. My goodness. Same three as the first three, I think. Iron Dragon Tiamatan. Thunder Dragon Duo. And Realm of Danger. D -d -d Danger. All right, so that completes the second tin. So yeah, I, th I think I'll make okay time. I definitely want to be under 45 minutes, maybe under 30. You guys want to hold on videos already. I don't, because I'm doing it right now. Sky Striker Ace, Shizuku, and Vampire Sucker. Trickstar Bloom. And I can probably just start skipping those comments in the back. I'm not, I didn't look up offhand if like AMM have actual value right now, but I just want to show you guys the hits, because that's what most people care about, really. Commons can be cool, but overall, you know. World Legacy, World Crown, World Legacy Succession, solid. And Nightmare Cerberus as well. Space Insulator, Commons. Good old boy cotton. Love me some boy cotton. No boycotting though. At least, at least not from us, right? Don't, don't boycott for any reason. Waking the Dragon, solid. <laughs> so there's some good Commons in there. I, I know enough. Cyber Rev System, Thunder Dragon Dark. Nightmare Unicorn. Nice. Staring Contest. And some commons. Alright, three tins down. One to go, and then we'll uh, crack four more, I guess. Maybe I can keep this under a half hour. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Cybers Witch. Crusadia Equimax. Nightmare Corruptor. Ibli. Cybers Clock Dragon. And many things. So no Boral Sword just yet, but we got the Call by the Grave right away. I got Trap Trick, a Jackalope, Rolled Succession. So we definitely got some solid value already from this case. Crusadia Maximus. Danger Nessie, there's more value. Always more value. Cybers Magician. And some commons. All right, last pack here from the first batch of four tins from the case. 
gives us Thunder Dragon Fusion, Sekka's Light, Thunder Dragon Colossus. Nice. And I think our third staring contest. So yeah, the staring contest is winning the staring contest, I guess. Just constantly staring back at us. And I'll just move all of our commons so far out of the way right away. Or they'll kind of block my uh, foil piles a little bit. And uh, let's unwrap four more tins here, shall we? So yeah, like I said, uh, we'll have a bunch of these singles on our website, thegamecapital.com. If you happen to be in our area for locals, we are in deep here, Wisconsin, just outside of Green Bay. And this Friday, we're actually going to have a win a case tournament of these gold sarcophagus tins, where the prize pool will include 12 of these mega tins, or a case worth. Uh, we have it set up as six tins for first, three to second, two to third, one to fourth, I believe. Or if top four cut wants to split and they all get three each, that works too. Ten out of tens might be extra OTS packs, boost packs, or additional tins or something thrown in as well. Depends on the end attendance. attendance. But uh, that event will be happening this Friday at The Game Capital. Again, in deep here, Wisconsin, just outside of Green Bay. About two hours north of Milwaukee, about two, two hour, 15 minute drive from Madison. Something like that. And that'll be at uh, 5.30 p.m. start time. 5.30 p.m. start time uh, this Friday, which is what, August 31st? Last day of the month already? Where did August go? Where did August go? And then once August is done, well then wake me up when September ends, right? Am I right? Am I right? Sure. I'm always right. I'm never wrong, right? No, that's wrong. That's wrong of me to say. I'm wrong all the time. But we're about ready to open some more packs, and that's what's important here. Because uh, as much as I'm sure you all love me rambling away, you guys came here to see things get opened, and uh, open is what we are going to do. So, all right. Unwrapa da packa. And let's check out some more promos, shall we? We shall. We shall. Careful with the corners, though. Careful with the corners. All right. Round two. Exodia, the legendary defender. Magician of Black Chaos, Max. Obelisk, the tormentor. Monster Born, so our first non-god card from those possible pulls. And our third Nibiru already. Nice. Nice. All right. And we've got none of the worst ones from that spot so far. Which I'm blank on the name already, but I'm sure we'll find them possibly like five in a row now. Who knows? Because uh, I know I've jinxed it, but you know. You know. Red Eyes, Alternative Black Dragon, Neo Kaiser Glider, Obelisk the Tormenta, Sly for the Sky Dragon, still no Rageki, and there it is, Dimension Shifter. So that's the one you don't want to find. If you miss on this one, you already have a very nice head start on recouping your value from the tin. All right, next up. So, so far I'm at, what, three, two, one for those? Three Nagirsu, uh, two Dark Leader no more. Oh, we got our first Raigeki. Neo Kaiser Glider, Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon, Raigeki, and Monster Reborn, and Dark Ruler no more. So, three Nagirsus, three Dark Ruler no mores, and uh, one of the one you don't want to get. So, I'd say we're winning so far. And if we can find, you know, multiple Boral Swords potentially by the end of this as well, definitely be a solid case. I've got a lot of value already so far. Just haven't gotten the top money pull yet. Neo Kaiser Glider, Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon, Monster Reborn, The Winged Dragon of Ra, and Dimension Shifter. So we had 332 so far for those. And then on to the Mega Packs. I think we're making good time. I think we're making good time. And we'll skip right ahead here to Incantation Candle, Thunder Dragon Roar. That looks really cool. I don't think it's a desired card, but it looks really awesome. Danger Bigfoot once more. We Witch's Apprentice, formerly a super rare, I believe, now a regular rare. But a solid card, all in all. Yeah, at least no, it is or was an above average super, at least at one point. Maybe it's come down now. I don't know. Cyber Dragon Hers, Super Crusadia Equimax. Sky Striker Mecha Widow Anchor and Crusadia Revival. And we'll, we'll skip the commons entirely now the best we can. Keep things moving right along for you all. Whoop, one too many. Cyber Rev System. Heritage of the Chalice. Beat Bladesman for Hire. So yeah, obviously uh, we got a few more Dark Saviors reprints in this set. Uh, we just got some in the, uh, what, 
Not dual power. On um, oh my gosh, not Valhalla. The Battle of the Legend. There we go. Like what? There's been so many releases, so many good releases for Yu-Gi-Oh! lately. It's hard to keep track of what had what at this point. Nightmare Griffin, World Legacy Survivor. All right, two more packs, then we're officially halfway done with the mega packs. So, yeah, I think we'll definitely end up in under 30 minutes here for you all. Trickstar Bella Madonna. Crusadia Aquamax. We got like three or four Aquamaxes already. Herald of the Abyss. Crusadia Revival. All right, this pack will mark the halfway point. Granted, I've opened more than half of the promo packs, so we're about halfway. We're about halfway. Ba -da -ba -bum. World of Legacy. World Crown. Nightmare Mermaid, Danger Bigfoot number three, and Center Frog. Oh, so, some Yuga cards just make me laugh. And I love it. I love it. All right, on to tin number seven's Mega Packs. Here we're moving well. We're moving well. Incantation, Pensaplume, Crusadia Maximus, and Vampire Sucker, Noble Knight, Ivane. Ivan? Ivane? Ivani? Levani? No, that's Pokemon. That that's definitely not correct. Cyber Witch, Sekka's Light, Nightmare Severus, Sacred Noble Knight of Kane Kastenin. That's a long card name. Yeah. What one thing I really like about Pokemon over their card games when do the opening especially is that other than some trainers, all the card names are just one word, and I know how to pronounce most Pokemon names, so it's, it's a lot easier. Also, guys, multi-faker and nightmare unicorn, solid. So, nothing against the Yuga card, just some of the names are so long, and Carmen Vanguard's names are just incredibly long, and you know, when I want to actually say the card names, it be it becomes very tedious, but it is what it is. Thunder Dragon Dark, Nightmare Unicorn, World of Legacy Survivor. Overall, not too bad for most of these cards. That one where we just had a packs go. That was a long one that you know triggered me saying all this in the first place, but you get the idea. Crusadia Draco, Cyber Dragon Seeger as a Prismatic Secret, and another Trap Trick. Nice. So we're up to two Trap Tricks. No Burl Swords just yet. Can I get one right here in tin number eight? Final pack. Final pack. Crossbreed Iron Dragon Tiamatan. And Beat Blazeman for Hire. And some Summer Summoner. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Four tins down, sorry, eight tins down, four to go. Still no Boral Sword. We got the one Call by the Grave in the very first tin. We've gotten two Trap Tricks. I think we had one World uh, Succession, one Nessie, three Bigfoots, one Jackalope. Which I think is some of the cards I saw at the top of the value list uh, before recording. So I think that covers most of the tops. Um, I don't think they're at the top of the list, but we got several of the... Uh, Sky Striker based stuff as well, so some nice added value. A lot of Nightmare stuff as well, which I know some of those have at least like, again, I don't want to say numbers. That They have above bulk value, to say the least. For sure. For sure. Come on. Rip. Puncture. You got this. Oh man, maybe I might get down to like 25 minutes. We are flying. This is such a fast win for me. I'm so proud of myself. I hope you're all proud of me too. Oh, I've, I've been in training. I've been in train, I guess. Yes. It's been, it's been a lawn. It's been a lawn. Words are hard. I'm just going to not stop talking because it's awkward if there's just dead quiet while I'm opening things. But maybe some would prefer it. For those that do, my apologies. Uh, for those that prefer how I'm doing it, you, you're welcome. Yes, we'll go with your welcome. All right. The case of tins is full again with the empty tins. And turn that around. All right. Oop, got to get the commons out of the way. Because they get a little bit unruly. All right. Final four. Here we go. Can we find any more Nagirsus? We're going to stall at three. We're at 332 for the primary promos, the newest of cards. Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon. Neo Kaiser Glider. Right, Gecky. Obelisk the Tormentor. And Dimension Shifter. So we're at 3-3-3 three, three, three right now. So we get one of each in the last three here. We'll have equal distribution. Which is not happening in either of our first two cases we opened already at the store. 
Uh, one case had five dimension shifters and three Nagirisus. And I think one case had like seven dimension shifters. So that's one we've been pulling the most of so far. But maybe this case will be different. Magician of Black Chaos Max. Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon. The Wayne Dragon of Raw. Slife of the Sky Dragon. And Nibiru, the Primal Bean. So we got at least one third of the packs with uh, Nibiru, which is what we want to do. We want to get at least four of those per. So, so far what I'm seeing, uh, with the Great Variants especially, I don't think there's any short prints within the promos. I don't think. And I don't know if there's any, any short prints throughout the entire thing, actually. But we'll see soon. We'll see soon. Exodia, the Legendary Defender. Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon. Raigeki, the Wayne Dragon of Raw. And Dark Ruler, no more. So we got at least four of each of the two best ones. And if this one has a Dimension Shifter, it's completely equal for this case. Again, we already did two cases before this video, and neither of those had equal for those. And for the other ones too, like Rageki, we got one Rageki in one case, and six Ragekis in a different case. So there's a lot of variants, but overall, I think it's going to be pretty even keel. Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Pelidium Oracle Mana. The Wind Dragon of Raw. Slayer for the Sky Dragon. This case we got, we were heavy on the gods. Light on Rageki, I think. But we got more than one. And Dark Ruler No More. All right. So this case we got five Dark Ruler No More, four Nagirisu, and three Dimension Shifter. So, solid on the promos front. And let's see if we can find a Boral Sword here to uh, catch up a little ground if needed here on the uh, actual packs. Shall we? Shall we? Triple D, Flame High King Genghis. Thunder Dragon Roar. And Nightmare Griffin. Come on, Boral Sword. Where are you at? Where are you at? We need you. We need you in our lives. Cybers Witch. Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. This is one we haven't pulled yet, I guess. Herald of the Abyss. And Space Insulator. Last pack of the ninth tin. Bada bum. Incantation Pinsa Plume. Danger Response Team. Don't think I got that one yet. Nightmare Griffin. And Noble Knight Yavane. Yvan. So I guess the good sign here is that we're getting some secrets we haven't gotten before. So perhaps it's more likely that we uh, find uh, Boral Sword here before much longer, hopefully. At least one. Incantation Candle. Danger, Chupacabra. Haven't gotten that one yet. Herald of the Abyss. And another Wee Witch. I think one of the single tins we opened, actually, from one of the first two cases, I think we got two Boral Swords in within a single tin within the three Mega Packs. So that was a busted tin, for sure. Trickstar, Bella Madonna! Galaxy Eyes, Soul Flare Dragon again. And Danger, Sukunoko. Solid, solid. Cyrus Magician. I mean, if we miss on the Boral Sword entirely... I think we're we're still we're still good. We're still good. Definitely prefer to find that though. Definitely prefer to find it. Hmm. Three commons upside down. That's unusual. Got Thunder Dragon Fusion, Thunder Dragon Dark, and Vampire Sucker. And I don't think we got him yet. We got uh, his buddy, but uh, not even a longer card name. All right, six packs left, folks. Six packs left. Six more cracks of Boral Sword. Incantation Talismandra. Ultrageist Multi Faker. Our third trap trick. That's solid. That's solid. So, yeah, even when we miss, we can still get a hit. It definitely is not a one hit wonder kind of release. That is for sure. Lots of cards you're hoping to find that are going to increase your value in the end. Doolittle Chimera. Thunder Dragonhawk. Danger Dog Man. Those are all new for us, I think. And Cinder Frog we've gotten. But yeah, all the foils there, I think were first-time pulls for this case. So speaking of first-time pulls, show me Boral Sword! Nope. Triple D, Flame High, Genghis. Danger Mothman. Vampire Froling. All right. Down to our last ten of the case, folks. Last three. The final three. The final countdown. Nope. <laughs> Went way too far. World Legacy World Crown. Crusadia Maximus. Nightmare Sybaris. And Cyber's Magician. 
Come on, Boral Sword, baby. Where are you at? Does Sammy reach rarity on the pack? Because I forget. Uh, from the set? No, it doesn't. I feel like there's like 27 different prismatic secrets. And uh, we get 36 in a case. So, like, you hope you get one of each with some duplicates. But Cybers Dragon Hers, Thunder Dragon Dark, Nightmare Sybris. All right, last pack. Last chance for glory. Can we get the glory, please? Let, let's throw this a little bit here. Uh, let's see, at least five. So we got Edge, Imp, Cotton Eater, Crusadia Crawler, Vampire's Desire, Gookie, Rain Trainer, Dragunity something. Goki Pole. Where's the regular rare? There we go. Noble Knight, Castain. What else we got? We've got Sagitta, Maverick for Hire. Come on, Burl Sword. Prompthorn, Dino Wrestler, King T. Rextel. That's a fun name. Gravekeeper's Headman, Psychic Ace, Interrupt Resistor, Incantation Talisbander is the Super. The Ultra is our fourth trap trick. That is solid. And our final Prismatic Secret, our final chance at a Burl Sword. It's blue! It's blue! It's an S. Sky Striker Ace Hayate. So we don't get any Boral Swords in this case. But rest assured, we did open two cases before I did this video. One case had one Boral Sword. One case had four. So, so far we're at five Boral Swords to three cases. We're going to have a ten case opening recap for you. Hopefully later today though. So stay tuned for that. And we'll see how ten cases worth these tins shake out for us though. But that'll do it for uh, today's video. So please subscribe. Rock smash that like button. Visit the game, capital.com, for every Mega 10 singles and other Yu-Gi-Oh! and other trading card game needs. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time, whenever, wherever that may be, including later today, hopefully, for a 10-case opening recap of these Mega 10s. See ya!